We rolled deep. <laughs> That's what we're trying to say. The top floor is all the best people. It's, it's not true. System. We divide up the rooms by essentially random lottery, the semi-stratified rent structure. Five on each floor, kitchen on each floor, living room on each floor, two bathrooms on each floor. That's not bad. Yeah. There's always someone to hang out with if you're bored. No shortage of video gaming. We're always around for video gaming, and I don't know, it's just a good time. For most of the game, so... We were all actually friends before we, you know, became roommates, sort of, so it was easier. Living in the 10 person house is pretty sweet. I mean, uh, I didn't really know too many people when I was about to move in here. Like, I was roommates with Encore and Bay and Eric previously, my sophomore year. I hadn't even heard Phil speak before, like, last year. <laughs> that was the craziest thing. Living with 10 guys, it's been a fun experience thus far. Phil Turner doesn't do the dishes. That really pisses me off. I think over definitions of wash need to be clarified though, because some people, so, like you, don't use soap and you consider it washed. Well, and other people well, 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 well. don't there are use some, soap. There are some instances where no. hot water will do just fine, in my book. Right. <laughs> for you, but not for everyone else. <laughs> Start from the beginning or from the end? We start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. Crystal ball freshman year. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of a group costume. Well, really embarrassing. Well, you were. We didn't even dress as females. That's you true. Did Miles. That's true. We did. We did a retro '70s theme. I think the mariachi band. Um, nah, that was. Was that freshman year? Oh yeah, was that sophomore year? It was sophomore year, Halloween. That was a blast. I was one member of a two-person horse. That was fun. Were you the face or the ass? I was, I was the face. Lucky, I, lucky you. Some dignity. <laughs> <laughs> I had swine flu, not as a costume, actually. This was really sick. And then this year, we were the Chilean miners. Were you worried that it was too soon? We considered the possibility, but like, nobody really died, so... Fuck it. It's cool. Nobody died. No blood, no foul. I mean, it's only my blood. Pretty good parties. Pretty good. It's like good, very good parties. Yeah. Really, Pretty like good. just fucking asshole people. Really mean, inconsiderate people. Parties have been insane. Broken windows, vomit, vomit. mess, just everywhere. Broken vomit. shit, broken walls, <laughs> broken doors. Well, someone wrote with shaving cream all over our bathrooms. Oh, there are bathrooms. Someone broke a hole in our wall. Apparently with like a knee or a kick, possibly. Just at this awkward height that only could be done by a knee. A yeah. knee or a butt. Yeah, it had to be like a... Yeah, it has to be like a, like a, <laughs> a downward. It may have to be like a hard butt. Yeah. In order to make a hole in the first place. Bub That's butt. True. <laughs> yeah. But then towards the end, a lot of people that we just don't recognize and are clearly older than us are just hanging out in our living room, you know. It's also one of the pitfalls of Kalamazoo College. You hear of a party, everyone goes to the one party. It's like, oh, okay, you know. I like to solve problems. I had this problem with two drunken idiots pissing all over my bathroom during a party. That made me very angry. Oh, these two, like, just drunk assholes. They just, like, peed everywhere. They were just, yeah, they just pissed everywhere.
Plug this out. Okay. Ugh. Kearney, after they leave, Kearney just walks in, he's like, he walks in the bed, he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he just irrationally just, just locks the door and closes it, so no one else can get in. <laughs> and he can't get in either, because he doesn't have the key, we don't have any keys to the bathroom. I decided to lock the bathroom door from the inside, failing to realize that I could not um, unlock it from the outside. <laughs> yeah, don't miss this. Uh, yeah, well, wasn't thinking, kind of angry, so I just closed it, now no one can do it. So I spent an hour and a half on my Sunday morning, really hungover, trying to get this door open. No, we took off From the like, lock well, first. You couldn't, like, yeah, you guys took off, well, first you tried to, like, stick a, what, a, a paper clip in there or something like that and try to open it. We had to take out the hinge, the hinge bolts. Look at that. Yeah, no, dude, come pee in here on every on everything. Come pee on everything. So we eventually had to bend the door back and take the hammer and just rip the door out, basically. I was so pissed off that he closed that door. I was like, uh, why, why, how is that the issue? But yeah, it took a good hour and a half, two hours, but I eventually got it. And my bathroom still smells like piss. Boom goes the dynamite. It's the return. start yeah he's a douchebag but I mean he's a, he's a I mean I do hate him <laughs> but I love him at the same time he's a lovable douchebag he's dumb and I hate him he's pretty dumb and I do hate him <laughs> living with Cardi is hilarious see him just ask me what I'm eating whether I want to finish it <laughs> whether he could <can> have that <laughs> and I was just like no you can't have that <laughs> stop bullying me <laughs> <laughs> I've had many names, including Captain Douche, over my, my lifetime. The Colonel, the Commish, <laughs> Wugs. But the Douche kind of emerged from the playing of Super Smash Brothers. One of my all-time favorite characters is Captain Falcon. And so, I don't know how it developed, but it was... I don't know if we called it the Douche. The douche punch no. at first. No. Because everyone knew you were a douche before you to even became the character. It had nothing to do with Captain Falcon. It was I don't like, know. You were a douche. I don't know if that's part and of it though. Did that come from Super Smash? Partially. Kind of. A little bit. You're gonna have problems with like what insects, you know, mice. You know, like it's, it's you're gonna have that problem. The only thing I have that really bugs me is like where they're moving around, I guess, in the kitchen, where we eat our food and stuff like that, <laughs> where, where we like on our stove and where we cook, and our, right? Yeah, so that's that's the only thing, I'm just like, that's, there's just like mice, mouse shit everywhere, so. I was really against the whole killing thing, but they started something here and now it needs to end because there's just too many of them. We've gotten eight already, I think. Yeah, I mean. There could be, there could be some <laughs> legions of them hiding <laughs> among the walls. Um, Probably like one in here right now, <laughs> somewhere. Don't shock me. Eating my food or something. Ground Zero is probably the upstairs kitchen. We've, we've killed numerous mice up there. Probably about a half dozen in a single trap. Single trap's got got our money's worth out of that one. I think we've killed eight in total. I kind of took the lead and went out and bought a bunch of traps and. Uh, I bought some steel wool and I've been plugging up the holes. I consider myself a professional mice, mouse wrangler. Professional plug. Professional plug. <laughs> Hole plugger. <laughs> Hole plug. <laughs> you might say. We have restricted the movements of the mice. Their movement's more predictable. And we've managed to kill off the whole, the whole flock, right? I don't think there's flocks. They're not flocks. Mice. Colonies? What are they? I think they're families. Families? They families? Yeah. It's hard to think about it that way, but... <laughs> You're a dick. Wiped them out. Someone needs a glue trap. 
Someone go just get it. Go get a glue trap, someone. You, you want to do this? I was just talking about how we haven't seen a mouse in a few days. Oh god, he's somewhere in there. He's in this corner. He's like... Well, I was going to the bathroom at the time. I just finished up, and uh, <laughs> I looked down for two seconds while I'm washing my hands, and there's a little thing running around my legs, and I, normally it's a custom in our house to yell mouse as loud as you can when you see one. So I start yelling mouse, and then people run from all different directions. Then Eric came outside and was like, mouse, mouse. Just, you know, so we weren't, we, weren't, we wouldn't alarm the mouse. So we ran, we went and got uh, hockey sticks, and or he went and got a hockey stick. Bay grabs his hockey stick, and we trapped it in the corner of the bathroom because it wasn't smart enough to leave. Apparently Parkins was upstairs. Oh yeah, that's right. In the bathroom, you know, doing his business. And the mouse was scurrying around. He thought it was in his sweatpants and everything. He was freaking out. I was frightened, man. It scared the shit out of me, literally. <clears throat> we cornered the mouse. And I had my hockey stick, I was just waiting at the doorway. Oh, Parkins, get up on the bathtub or something. Get on the bathtub with me. I gotta smoke it. I'm gonna, uh, stop, I'm gonna right. stop it out. Oh! Oh! Get it. Oh, oh, oh shit! shit. finally got the mouse to come, and I just took a slap shot. End of story. But the thing was, no one was expecting the slap shot. It was just yeah. more like, oh no, there's a mouse. I didn't think Bay would actually hit it, to be honest with you. And all of a sudden, I see the little body fly back at me. <laughs> and I was like, sweet Jesus. <laughs> it was a crazy experience, because we've been hunting these mice for like 10 weeks now, almost. I felt really bad for the little mouse. But it was a good shot. It's life, man. It's life. <laughs> it's life. <laughs> I do wonder what everyone's gonna do. I feel like Parkins will be like that, the greatest vet ever of <laughs> some sort. That'll be interesting to see, like a 10 year reunion. Or yeah. Like Probably won't have to wait that long to see each other again. Be very we won't. I'm yeah. just saying to see oh, yeah. the full effect. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of, the full effect of. It'll all, be fun. We'll see each other all the time. Or hopefully. We have a good mixture of uh, personalities. No, oh, we, got, well, we got a lot of different guys. I mean, we have guys that play sports, we have guys that don't. We have guys that are academic, we have guys that are less academic. We have guys that are just like the, I don't know. It's just a different group of people, so it's fun and yeah. we do dumb shit. It's funnier to talk about later and... Yeah, it's, it is fun. Yeah. Everyone seems like they have their niche and everything, so it's kind of cool. And it's just awesome that we're friends because it's easier to live with people that are your friends. And as long as you don't have any conflict, and we haven't had any yet, except for Kearney. <laughs> no, Kearney's been fine too. I just hate on him because he's at the top of our NHL fantasy hockey league. It's a good house. It's a good house, and somehow we all get along for the most part. We have our skirmishes, but just, you know, it happens. They're more friendly than you know, vicious attacks, so. competitiveness, <laughs> pops cheating at FIFA, things like that. You know, just but minor we things. get over it. Living with 10 dudes is straight and all. It's like a lot of fun most of the time. This is like awesome. Like I would probably never do this again. So like this is like a once in a lifetime thing. Exactly. So this is like, this is gonna be fucking, it's already been a pretty fun year.